Hello, welcome to another style spotlight. Uh, in a style spotlight, I go over sizing and style tips for a particular style. And this style for today is the Duster Cardigan, which is this. Um, before I go any further, I just wanted to address this pesky thread. It's part of my necklace, um, but I just haven't fixed it yet. But the necklace um, comes into play later and also looks cute with my outfit. But I digress. Okay, so the Duster Cardigan is a nice lightweight layering piece. It um, It's a true layer. It is not outerwear, so I wouldn't recommend wearing this by itself in like frigid temperatures. But it's great to layer like under jackets and obviously over sweaters. And, and it's light enough that you won't feel um, uncomfortable under a jacket, like you won't feel like too bulky. But and it's also lightweight enough to wear like over um, over your everyday clothes um, for just added warmth and it'll take you from winter to summer. You can even wear this in summer because it is so lightweight but probably only like at night. You know it gets a little bit chilly at night sometimes and you just want something to throw over. This would be a good uh, layering piece to throw over. Uh, these are regularly priced $48. They are true to size. I am wearing a size small. I generally wear a size small in tops in Agnes and Dora, so I would recommend um, whatever size top you are to go with that. Um, the sizing is in the arms, but this fabric is pretty stretchy. Um, and it is obviously um, large enough to go over, I've got two layers on, two long sleeve layers on underneath here and I still feel comfortable. I don't feel like too, um, you know, like I'm wearing, <laughs> like I'm, you know, I've got like something tight on me. Hopefully it makes sense. <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, so these are obviously a duster length. I'm only 5'1", and these are pretty long. And they get longer as you go up in size. So just keep that in mind if you're on the shorter side. Um, but I will help you... Um, Take up the length in a couple little tricks that I have up my sleeve. <laughs> uh, I could probably size down to an extra small if I wanted since this is so stretchy, but I just don't think it would be as comfortable to layer. So if I wasn't going to layer anything underneath the cardigan, I could probably go with um, a size down. But if you want the most bang for your buck, just get your true size. That way you can, you can wear it with um, like a tank top or you can wear it with layers underneath. So, if you were short and you're like, oh, this is so much fabric, Larissa. I know, <laughs> believe me, I know. And I'm like, oh, but they're so cute and I wish I could wear them. How can I wear them? This is how you can wear them. So, you can just tie a simple knot. And you can, cur you can control, um, you know, the amount of fabric you take up. So if you just tie like a small little knot on the bottom, you can take it up just a little bit. So what that does is it takes off the weight. Like you can see like it's heavy on the bottom. This kind of just um, cuts that corner off. And get, you could, you still have the illusion of like the duster length cardigan, but it's not so o like visually overwhelming um, in the front. So you could do that and you can um, you can feel free to take it up even more too, especially for me being so short, um, I could take it up all the way, almost to the pocket. And so, but if you have a lot of excess here, you can feel free to you know let it be, or you can tuck that bad boy back in on itself. And what that does, it kind of looks almost like a, a little road, so it's kind of cute. Um, you just tuck that in and you get like little rosettes on the side and I'll show you what that looks like on both sides and how much um, you can actually take it up if you just make a knot big enough. <laughs> so something like that. So see that's that's pretty good. Like, it's not overwhelming and it's actually kind of it's pretty cute. It's like um, it's a little slouchy look. But if you're not a fan of knots, or if you just want a different look entirely, or I can hear my kids out there. <laughs> um, mm -mm 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 -mm. You can do this. 
they involve hair ties. You're gonna need two of these guys. So what you're gonna do, and there are multiple ways you can do this as well. Um, it's really preference and you might have to play with it a little bit to see what you like. But the general idea is that you're gonna wanna take the corner, the bottom corner of your um, duster. So my hand's in my pocket. I'm gonna stick that corner like in the palm of my hand. You're gonna want it to be kind of in the center of the pocket. You don't want it to be, you don't want um, it to be too high because you don't want your little um, ponytail holder to stick out. You don't want it to be too low because then um, you can tell it's like very, or um, because of where the um, seaming is on the pocket, it, it looks a little funky. But I mean, it's all preference too. It might not bother you, but I always try to aim for the center. And oops, where'd my tie go? <laughs> I think I got distracted. Where'd it go? Oh, it's on the floor. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna want to take the uh, teeniest bit of the corner, and just like your um putting a ponytail in your hair. Just gonna wrap that around so it's secure. So that kind of also creates like, it cuts off that corner so it takes off the weight, but it also creates like this cute little, um, I call it like a, it looks almost like a little, like a waterfall or like a little ruffle or something. You can see that there. What is also cute, you can play around with this as well. So it's also cute to kind of leave that little bit um, of the corner out for a different look. So if you t do that same technique, and you can kind of um, play with it and see, but you can see how um, it looks even more like a, like a ruffle coming down, depending on where you put it. Oops. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's hard for me to tell. Um, on my my phone but usually yeah that's cute um, it's just like a slightly different look so feel free to play around with um, what you like but that's what this looks like here I wonder if you can tell so yeah because if you get your oh yeah that's cute so what I was talking about, like if you get your, um, you'll see when you play around with it, if you put your knot or your ponytail holder too low in the pocket, it might look a little funky, but that's a general idea. So those are those little hacks to bring up the length. So if you are wearing, um, for instance, two solid pieces together, a lot of times this can be um, not visually interesting. Like, it's cute. So proportions, like on a shorter person, this is still kind of a lot of fabric. Um, like your eye just sees fabric on a person. This, the duster does create like a nice, um, nice long line in the front, even if you were to like, not the front. It's still nice to, um, to break up this fabric here. Then let me show you what I mean. Okay. Do, do, do. So just to add like interest and since it's like solid on solid, if you add a little scarf, that kind of brings your eye up and it doesn't, um, your eye is not only seeing just you know, large pieces of fabric. So you can add a scarf, or you can add a um, a long necklace. Using a long necklace will keep with that kind of like elongating line that the um, duster gives you. So you can do that. And this is my favorite because if you don't know, you might already know. I love me a belt <laughs> because, um, oops, if you're someone like me, I am um, like a rectangular shape. So anytime I can try to um, give myself a waist, I try to, which is, I'll get, actually, I'll get to this. So this is cute too.
And then you flip this over, your eye is drawn here. And then you could also um, belt your cardigan and the dress together too, and that would be cute as well. Um, I would recommend keeping it, keeping it open though. One, because um, you want to keep that line, and two, because you don't really want your pockets touching, if that makes sense because you'll have, you know, pockets in the front, and they'll be right there. <laughs> okay, let's put her away. And let's talk about my outfit. So, I kind of have the same thing going on here where I'm drawing the eye here just to break it up. So I have two layers on here, and this also kind of brings the eye here and kind of makes me look a little bit, I feel like a little bit slimmer because I it puts my waist somewhere, if that makes any sense. But also, um, on someone so short, you want to like bring your proportion up as high as possible to make you look taller. <laughs> um, and the necklace. So I could, I, since I'm wearing solids underneath my printed cardigan, I mean, it's cute like this as well, but it's even cuter with the necklace. And then this long, Necklace also goes with like the whole like long line. So you just wanna lengthen your body basically. And hopefully I've shown you some helpful tips and tricks um, on how to lengthen your body <laughs> and just different ways to style the, um, the duster to you know suit your needs. So hopefully that was helpful. And yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Bye, have a good day.